Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here back with another video. So this is going to be a remake of one of my other videos, which I'll show you right here. Basically, that code was very, very trash and I want to upgrade the code and it will be given all to you in this video and I will also have a pastebin link down in the description. So be sure to check that out. Alrighty guys, let's get on with the video. So if you want an arena, kind of like what I did where, you know, it was like a, it was a cylinder, just make you one however big you would like your arena to be. And mine's not going to be perfect, but let's just say it's like this. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our part, whatever, you know, your base plate is and just size it up and it could just be something like that. So basically this bigger part. We're going to change the transparency to one so it's invisible. Basically, this part is going to be the part that whenever you touch, you're going to get your sword or whatever weapon that you have. We're going to name this to main. Okay. Now we're going to right click on workspace, insert object, folder, and rename that folder to areas. Okay. So now we're going to take this main part. Whatever main part yours is, just drag it into areas. And then this bottom part, it really does not matter. You know, whatever backdrop, you know, the ground, it doesn't matter where it's at. Just make sure your main area that you're going to be touching is inside of this folder, which is main. Rename that to main. All right, next up, we're going to go in starter player, go in starter character scripts, insert object local script, okay, and rename this to area script it does not matter what this name is all cool all cool all right so basically what we're going to do in the local script is create our simple variables so we're going to get our player so local player equals whoops game dot players dot local player all right next up we want to get our character equals player dot character so this is how you get the character you can do character equals player dot character and then you can also do r player wait oh i'm sorry no 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 player dot character added wait so it's saying this variable is gonna get the character and it's saying this r is basically saying if the character is not there then it's just gonna wait for the character that's what this is saying right here Next up, we want to get the humanoid. Okay, humanoid equals, oops, spelled that wrong. Humanoid equals character dot humanoid. So the humanoid is going to be basically for, we're going to use a function called equip tool and also unequip tools. So next up, what we want to do is we want to access our weapon. So what you want to do is Whatever weapon you have, just put it inside of starter pack right here. As you can see, I have my link sword already. This is the tool that I'm going to be using. All right, so let's go back in the script, area script. So local weapon equals player. So this is when player comes in handy. We can use player dot backpack, get the player's backpack. And then we want to do wait a lie. We're not even going to wait for child. Just because whenever the player is going to be added, he's already going to have his backpack. And this, so basically how it works, let me explain this. So we're putting our local script inside of starter character scripts because we don't want to have it in starter player scripts right here because all these scripts are going to, they're all going to start up whenever the player joins. But the character scripts, this is just going to start up whenever the character gets loaded into the game, which is what we want. So that's why we don't have to wait for child or anything. Usually in local scripts, you don't have to use wait for child for anything. So weapon equals player dot backpack. And then right here, we put our weapon name, which is mine is going to be link sword. Okay. Just like that. All right. Next up, what we want to do is get the areas folder inside of workspace. So local areas equals workspace. And then we can do dot areas because it will be loaded in whenever our character starts up. That's why we have it in starter character scripts. Much easier, much easier. All right, next up, we're also going to want to get the humanoid root part. So that way we can use that to detect 
if our humanoid root part touches the main block, which is the invisible block that we've made. All right, so now we can do local humanoid, humanoid root part equals character weight. We don't even, we could just do humanoid root part actually, humanoid root part. Perfect. All right, next up, we're going to make some more variables. We're going to do local got sword. This is going to be for our debounce equals false. All right. And then also we're going to do local touching equals nil. So now what we're going to do is use our humanoid root part variable and connect that to a touched event. Connect function. Bam. All right. So basically inside of these parentheses, we're going to put, let's say, let's just call it new part. It doesn't matter what's in here. We're just going to say new part. So new part is going to be whatever touches this humanoid root part, the humanoid root part, which is inside of our character. So next up, what we need to do, all right, is we say if new part, so new part, like I said, is going to be whatever touched the humanoid root part. So if new part is descendant of areas, okay, descendant of areas, and we're going to say is touching and touching is equal to nil, then we're going to say touching equals new part. Sorry, I'm just typing very bad. Now we can say if got sword is equal to false, then we basically want to give the sword. So we say humanoid, not humanoid root part, humanoid. And then we use the function equip tool. And right here we put our variable weapon in. So that way weapon gets equipped. All right. And then now we say got sword equals true. All right. All right, guys. So right here on line 14, this is a function that's going to run whenever something touches the humanoid root part. All right. And then right here, new part is basically going to be whatever touches the humanoid root part. OK, so we just name it whatever. So we named it new part. And this is saying if the new part is the descendant of areas. So basically that means new part would be this. And it's saying is the descendant of areas, which is our folder right here. So it's basically just checking if the humanoid root part touches the new part, which is main. And it's just checking if whatever part is in this folder, then it's going to finish the rest of the code. But it's also checking if touching is equal to nil. So whenever we touch the part, touching is already going to be set to nil. So it should run whenever we touch the part. Then we set touching equal to new part. So the reason why we set it to new part, I'm going to show you right here. We're going to have our touched ended event for the humanoid root part. So humanoid root part dot touch ended. And then we connect that to a function. Okay. Bomb. Just like that. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. All right. So right here, what we want to do is we're going to say for i v n pairs. So we're going to make a little loop. We're going to loop inside of humanoid root part and we get touching parts. All right. All right. And do at the end right here. So basically what this does is it's going to loop and get every touching part from the humanoid root part. Next we do if part. I'm sorry. No, we do if v. So actually what we can do, we just name this to part. It's going to be much easier because part is going to be whatever part that the humanoid root part gets. So it's going to get all the touching parts that we are touching, which we want it to be main, which is this part right here. So if part is equal to touching. So now that, and then we're just going to say then, all right, now I can explain. Basically, touching is the new part. As you can see, whenever we touched it, we set touching to the new part, which should be main in this code. Okay, And then right here, we're saying if part is equal to touching, 
which is which means if the part that we touch is equal to this main part right here then we do return bum just like that just like that all right next up out of that we're going to do humanoid not humanoid report we're going to do humanoid unequip tools then we do touching we want to set touching to nil and then got sword equals false so we set the touching to nil right here so that way whenever this runs it's gonna touching is already gonna be set to nil so that way it can continuously run back and forth and then we set got sword to false so this is basically just our debounce so right here we're just gonna test it all out make sure that our code is up and working okay so we're in the game we step on this oh well it looks like it wants to work but forgot to tell you guys make sure this part right here we will obviously make it anchored and can collide set that to false now we can play again and see how this runs as you can see it seems like it's worth working perfectly fine also if you guys would like to remove the tool GYs which would appear at the bottom of your screen and it would show your tool icon basically just go at the top of your code and just write this line right here just set the backpack to false and yeah guys that's about it I'm sorry if I couldn't explain the code very well um, I do have many other tutorials that I do plan on making very soon and those tutorials I don't plan on rushing as much um, but I just wanted to give you guys a video to put out there so you guys have something to watch and kind of learn a little bit but um yeah that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed peace